Hello guys welcome to Loxio Tech YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to configure D-Link N300 router as a repeater or access point. In this video, we will learn to configure some basic and advanced settings of the D-Link DIR615 router to work in repeater mode. Let's begin. First, you have to connect the internet service provider cable to WAN port. Next, you have to connect the Ethernet cable that is provided with the router to any one of the LAN ports. And the other end of that Ethernet cable is connected to your laptop or PC. After connecting check these LED lights. The first one is the power LED and the second one is the LAN. The third LED will glow after the internet connection is active in that router. If you don't have any LAN port in your laptop, then you can connect using the Wi-Fi. Connect to the Wi-Fi SSID, named DIR615, using the WPS pin as the password, shown in the sticker on the router device. And after that, do these steps to set the router as a repeater. Here I connect using a LAN cable. Once you have completed those connections, open any web browser on your computer, then type the IP address provided on the sticker in the router. It is most probably 192.168.0.1. Type the address and press enter. Then you will get the wizard page of the router. If you don't get this wizard page, then just reset the router by pressing and hold the reset button on the back side of the router. Click the start button, then select the language, select yes to set English. After that just click on continue. This is the page you set your connection method. If you want to set this as a repeater, just select the connection method to Wi-Fi. Then select the work mode to repeater. Then click next. On this page you need to set a new IP address for your repeater. If you don't know how to choose the IP address, then there is an option for automatically setting the IP address you can choose that if you want. Leave the host name as default and click next. This is the Wi-Fi client page. You have to select your main router to connect to the repeater. Click the wireless network button. Then you will get your main router list. Just select the main router. And enter your main router Wi-Fi password. Click next. In this page you have to set the network name for your new repeater. Or you can keep it the same name. Also, you can set a new password for your repeater or leave the default password that is already set with your main router. Here I change the network name and password of my own choice. Please remember both these names and passwords. You need to enter this password to connect to your repeater. Click next. Now this is the page to set up a password for your repeater settings page. Then click next. Now you will get the configuration summary that includes device details, passwords, etc. You can save the configuration file for future reference. Click apply button and then click OK to save the configuration settings. Now your settings have been applied. Please wait for a while. And now rebooting the router. The configuration has been successfully applied. Now you need to connect the repeater to your laptop or PC using the Wi-Fi connection. Click on the Wi-Fi icon, then connect D-Link N300 repeater. Enter the password and click Next. After connecting to the repeater Wi-Fi, then enter the username and password for the login page of the router. Just type the username as admin and the password that we have just set. Right here the device configuration is successfully completed and now you can use this new router as a repeater. 
You can also use Android and iOS apps for configuring the router setup. Download the D-Link Assistant and configure using your smartphone. It's finished. Now you can disconnect the Ethernet cable from the main router and use this new N300 router as a repeater. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and also post your valuable suggestions as comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.